Have you ever seen how they film car movie scenes where someone's driving a car? It's a nightmare. The car is on the platform. It's towed by another vehicle. There are several cameras inside, outside, lights. Filming car reviews is far less complicated, but you should choose your gear wisely based on your needs and means. I'll do cameras and lenses in a different episode, and today we're going to talk about suction mounts. After all, you have to attach your camera to the car somehow. My first mount, which I found by simply googling something on the lines of how to mount a camera to a car, was a Manfrotto 241 FB with a Junior MN056 head. Generally, you're looking for Manfrotto 241 and whatever attachment fits your needs. I have a second Manfrotto suction mount, which I attach a magic arm to or this little thing to screw on a selfie stick for 360 shots. At first, I used a suction mount only to mount a camera to the window inside the car. It's easy, it's secure. This is a large suction mount and it should hold at least two kilograms. So a medium sized DSLR or a mirrorless camera should be fine. If you want to mount something bigger, assuming you've got space, You'll need to rig it up with several mounts, arms, supports. By the way, I love watching other people's rigs and I appreciate the amount of time it takes to assemble them and how much space they take up in a car. Anyway, Manfrotto 241 is stable in a car. It doesn't transfer too much vibration to the camera. It doesn't take up much space. It's easy to attach and detach. After some time, I had the courage and confidence or just courage, to mount the Manfrotto with a Lumix camera outside the car and I started filming car-to-car -car shots and from time's perspective it wasn't a brilliant idea, also because of turbulence. I later found out in my case a GoPro is enough, however a proper mirrorless or a DSLR with a good lens attached to the body of the car aimed at some detail with shallow depth of field or maybe looking from the outside of the driver's shoulder, his hands on the steering wheel, or the driver talking through the windscreen, it just looks very professional. And to be even more professional, I strongly suggest to tie the camera down as well. Accidents happen, routine has cost me the more expensive of the two lenses I owned at the time, and well, the camera was fixable. A couple of years ago, during the winter, I ignored a couple of frozen water droplets which remained after I went through a car wash. Instead of getting rid of them and drying the boot lid properly, I just attached the suction mount with the frozen droplets underneath. It was a miracle the camera didn't hit the car it was filming and that it didn't fall under the car as it could have caused more damage. This was an expensive lesson but I learned the place you attach the camera to must always be spotless. And for faster car-to-car -car shoots, it makes sense to tether the rig to the car, for example, with a cargo tie-down strap that can go under the bonnet or maybe around the windscreen. I realize it's going to take, take up more time. And in my weekly production cycle, I just don't have time for that. But you should. After the camera drop incident, I found something called the... Delkin Fat Geeko Triple Suction Mount. As the name suggests, there are three smaller suction mounts and even if one lets go, there are still two holding it in place or you can use one for the GoPro and mount something on two of these suction mounts. And it's also better for new cars with elaborate lines where it's hard to find a lot of space to attach a bigger suction mount like that. And last but not least, GoPro and the GoPro mount. If you're spending 400 euro on an action camera, add another 50 for a decent mount. The original mounts are easy to use, reliable and last a long time. My gear has to work and I don't have time to look for a quick fix or a replacement in the middle of the shoot. Never mind the situation where the mount detaches, you lose the camera and the footage. The only problem with the GoPro mount is uh, the thread on the thumb screw bolt. There are no original replacement parts for it, so either start collecting spare parts from your older mounts or you have to buy a handful of cheap, let's call them aftermarket parts. But even if you're on a budget, I do not recommend homemade rigs which involve suction mounts from DIY stores, the ones used to transport glass, because sometimes they leave stains, especially on plastic parts like bumpers. 
I found several other Manfrotto-style mounts in various sizes, so you should be able to find something that fits your needs. I link to all the gear mentioned in the description below. These links are affiliated, so if you buy something through them, I get a small commission, which doesn't cost you a penny extra. Thanks. Subscribe to Mark's Gear, press the bell icon to get notified about new gear reviews. For now, I will be posting every two weeks. Have you ever mounted a camera in a tricky place? Where was it and how did it go? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions regarding the gear I use and how I use it to make car videos on a shoestring budget, drop me a line. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.